Hi guys, welcome back to the Toy Box. So previously we looked at the Iron Man Armoury. This is my take on it. So it's cost me double the amount of money to get what I wanted as a base. So this is two Iron Man Armouries together. Almost mirrored. But I've taken one of the screens off and used one of the Toy Boxes. The boys have taken the other hot rod. I've changed up the armour a bit. So if you've seen my previous videos you know that I had a... Avengers pack, Infinity and Endgame and I had a special Iron Man so I've used that Iron Man and stripped him off and his wings for this project so the Iron Man double is now in a model case so the idea is I'm going to start filling these up with the armors so the one from this set will go there so in this set the prototype goes here they've got room for a blazer armor which is model 22 and a war machine so I'm going to order the rest in and fill this out the way I think Iron Man's armour should be so with those four spaces taken our uh, other Iron Man is going to take his place here the prototype will go here if I can get him to stand in Oops. There we go. So that's three gaps filled up already. We've got both. We've got the jetpack here. I've literally mirrored the hologram images. So it looks like Tony's got two of them. Um, and to finish it off, the, or the jetpack on the actual playset will go here. So on this side, we've got the one from my end game Iron Man with the electric bits. Mm which was a custom so these are the normal Lego so none of these masks open up but on this that opens up so I've used one of the C3 heads for now because there will be a Tony Stark in this set so if I put Tony here with his hot rod for now so what we're going to do we're going to build this up piece by piece until we have a haul of armour that looks more similar to what I'm used to from the comic books and the cartoons but there's a start with the three Iron Man I've got the other armour is the same for the mech so I'm not going to use it so I actually have three of this Iron Man now um, two of these but that will be broken down used for Jurassic World projects Tony Stark the kids will probably have and we've got loads of these uh, holographic Iron Man left as well I'm going to let Jackson have one uh, so we're just going to build this up into a bigger project. So all it was was two base plates from Poundland that are the same colour as the official Lego, a little hexagon plate to go in there, and a case of buying two of these, and literally taking these components off here uh, on this end and putting them there because they would go here and joining the two armies together and stretching them out. So people can say, well, why have I mirrored it? Because the way it bends, these two ends here are the only things that join them together and hold into place, and these two middle bits. Everything else actually doesn't lock into the bricks, so that's why we're going to have to do it. So there is really technically the capacity to have four Iron Man in each half, which is eight Iron Man. So we'll slowly build it up and we'll build the figures and we'll have a look when we get to different stages. But this is what I'm aiming for now. This is a good start. Just means I paid double to make the armory look better. But until next time, guys, stay safe, keep gaming. We'll catch you next time on the toy box.